CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.6, Given a Scenario, Configure Microsoft Windows Networking Features on a Client Desktop. Public versus Private Network. When you connect your Windows 10 device to a network, Windows automatically classifies it as either a private or public network. This classification impacts how your device interacts with other devices and the level of security applied to your connection. Understanding the differences and knowing how to manage these settings effectively is crucial for maintaining both connectivity and security. A private network is one you trust, like your home or office network. When a network is set as private, Windows assumes you know and trust the other devices on the same network. This private network setting enables features like network discovery and has less restrictive firewall settings for inbound and outbound traffic. On a private network, having network discovery enabled allows your device to see other devices on the network and vice versa. This makes it easy to share files, folders, and printers, enhancing collaboration and convenience within the trusted environment. In contrast, a public network is one you don't trust, such as a coffee shop, airport, or any other public Wi-Fi hotspot. Windows assumes the network is insecure and restricts your device from being discoverable by others. This setting is more restrictive to protect your device from potential threats. On a public network, your device is hidden from other devices on the network, reducing the risk of attack. File and printer sharing is disabled to prevent unauthorized access to your resources and Windows Firewall applies stricter rules to safeguard your device. For those of you who might not understand what network discovery is, don't worry, I got you covered. Network discovery is a feature that allows your Windows 10 device to find other devices and be found on a network. This is particularly useful in a private network setting, where collaboration and sharing are essential. When network discovery is enabled, your device can see and communicate with other devices, making file and printer sharing straightforward. This feature is automatically turned on in private networks, but is disabled in public networks for security reasons. When network discovery is enabled, your computer sends out broadcast messages to announce its presence and listens for similar messages from other devices. This allows devices to detect each other and establish connections for sharing resources. For example, if you want to share a printer on a private network, network discovery will let other devices see and connect to that printer without needing to configure a network path to each device manually. And that most likely brings up yet another question. What is a network path? And to understand network path, we will need to talk about yet another item, the Universal Naming Convention, or UNC. Now, that may sound like a big rabbit hole to go down but it will only take a second to cover these items. So let's get to it. UNC is a standard for identifying shared resources such as files, folders, and printers across different devices within a network. The format of a UNC path is backslash, backslash, server name, backslash shared folder, where server name is the name of the computer or server where the resource is located, and shared folder is the name of the shared resource. Alternatively, the server name in a UNC path can also be an IP address. For example, backslash, backslash 192.168.1.101 backslash shared folder would access the shared folder on a device with the specified IP address. UNC paths allow users to access network resources directly without needing to map network drives, providing a straightforward way to connect to shared content across the network. Directly below the network profile setting, we have another option for establishing a metered connection. This option is great for managing data usage on your desktop, laptop, or tablet, especially on limited data plans. A metered connection is one where data usage is tracked and possibly limited, such as a mobile hotspot or a pay-per-use Wi-Fi network. By setting a connection as metered, you can prevent Windows from automatically downloading updates and other data-heavy tasks that could quickly consume your data allowance. Setting a connection as metered is particularly beneficial if you're using a mobile data plan with limited bandwidth or a pay-as-you-go internet service. When a network is designated as metered, Windows takes a more conservative approach to data usage. This means that while essential security updates will still be downloaded, other updates and large files won't automatically download. Additionally, some apps may behave differently, prioritizing tasks that require less data. 
For instance, syncing services like OneDrive will switch to manual syncing to avoid excessive data consumption. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.